John Moore reporting for the Chronicle Herald, the Scotia Bank Center. The Moncton Wildcats officially eliminating the Moose Hits from the playoff on 6 to 2, the final here. Coach Descharm, tell me about your team's performance here, the final final weekend of your home stand. I don't think the score of the game uh, reflects the game. Uh, you know, they were really uh, opportunistic on their chances. Uh, uh, first period was a big uh, difference in the game. Uh, they scored. Uh, you know, they scored four, and, and uh, uh, it's the quality of the chances that we gave in the first that was the difference. And they, uh, you know, they, they took those chances. So, uh, overall, for the 60 minutes, I, I don't think uh, we played uh, we played bad at all, but uh, they got the result of it. Still three games to go in the regular season, Don, but does anything change for your hockey club now that it's eliminated? Not, not the, in the way that we want to be playing the game or in the way that uh, we prepare. Uh, we always been uh, working the same way with the same mindset and uh, that, that won't change. Connor Garland, four points tonight. Uh, leading scorer in the Quebec Major, very dangerous player. Tell me about his performance and how you tried to limit his chances. Oh, we, we wanted to take time and space away, but he, he found he found ways to, to uh, get uh, some space and create space for himself. And uh, I think it was the difference in the game tonight. I mean, uh, it was uh, it was do or die today. I don't think we we came out uh, strong, and that's what happened. We we didn't get the result we want. Very good Moncton Wildcats team. We we know that, and yet on Tuesday night this team rallied from a two-goal deficit in the third period. Tell me a little bit about uh, the, this this loss and and the mood inside that room. For sure, uh, Moncton has a good team, but. Uh, at the same time, uh, we could have beat them. We beat them uh, earlier in the season, and we just didn't play well uh, tonight. We didn't deserve it. So uh, for sure, it's a tough one. It was uh, it was do or die, and we we didn't get the result. So it's really uh, disappointed. You knew there, there it was going to be tough to, to get into the playoffs. Now that it's official, uh, there will be no postseason. What what uh, what do you and your teammates feel at this point? We just need to keep. Uh, Keep working hard. Uh, yes, the, for us the season uh, will end uh, on the 19th, but uh, we need to continue working hard and win some games and just play our, at our best. We can't we can't stop playing even though we we're out. We need to work out every every day. So as far as you're concerned, moving forward with three games to go in the regular season, nothing changes. No, I mean uh, for sure we can't we can't make the playoffs, but. Uh, Nothing changed. We need to, to work hard, uh, and uh, you, you need to work for, for next year. Well, thanks for this, Tom. Thank you. Coach Ducharme and the Moose Hids, uh, back at home Saturday afternoon, a 4 o'clock start with the Charlottetown Islanders, their final home game of the regular season. Wildcats win at 6-2. John Moore reporting for the Chronicle Herald.